I know, I know, Christmas is over, but I have just one more Christmassy thing to talk about, and that is my Christmas book haul. I came home after Christmas this year with a massive 23 new books in my suitcase. I don't even know where to begin, I've got so many. <laughs> I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about these books, otherwise we will be here all day, but hopefully some of these will catch your eye and give you an idea of what to do with your new Christmas money. Maybe you've got book vouchers or Amazon vouchers and you might want to buy some of these. So I'm going to start with this massive pile that I got from my parents. They gave me a few little fun ones to start with. There's this book of Jane Austen's best quotes, and I love, love, love Jane Austen, so I'm going to have fun with this. Now that I'm back as a student again, I've got the Ladybird book of the students, so I can learn what I'm supposed to be doing. And to help me on my never-ending quest of figuring out which foods it is that I'm intolerant to, I got Five Go Gluten Free. And I used to love the famous Five books so much when I was younger, so I feel like this latest adventure is one I'm going to enjoy as well. In my Christmas tag video, I was complaining that I don't have any specifically Christmassy books, so my parents swooped in and solved that problem. I now have this gorgeous book of Christmas stories. This has short stories from all sorts of famous authors like Charles Dickens, Leo Tolstoy, Vladimir Nabokov, it's really fun. And they also gave me this Christmas mystery, Murder at the Old Vicarage, which I'm going to save until next December and then read Snuggled Up by a Fire and hopefully it'll be snowing and it'll be really cosy. At uni I'm about to start a module on women in ancient Greece and Rome and I know basically nothing about ancient Greece and Rome. I haven't even studied ancient history since early days of school, so I got this Birth of Classical Europe book to give me an introduction to everything I need to know. And what's really fun is it's written by two Oxford lecturers where I am now. One of them is even a lecturer from my college, so I bet they're going to know what they're talking about. Okay, and finally from my parents I got two novels. One was Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz. This is the Sherlock continuation. I got really into the Sherlock Holmes stories a few years ago after I started watching the TV show, so I'm really excited to see what Anthony Horowitz does with these characters. And the last novel is The House of Birds by Morgan McCarthy. Firstly, can we just talk about how beautiful this cover is? And the story looks so lovely. It's about a guy who finds a hidden diary in his house, so it's the intertwining of their two different timelines, and it's all about Oxford, where I'm now living, so this is going to be really lovely to read. Okay, on to my next exciting pile, and these are all the books that I got from my mother-in-law this Christmas. I've already managed to finish two of these books, so I'm going to start with those ones. First, I read To the Shotgun to the Head by Saul Williams, which is basically one long poem, and it's about feminism, and war, and religion, and it's really powerful. I'm not very used to reading poetry, but this this was a really great experience and I actually already want to read it again to see if I can get even more out of it the second time round. And the other one that I've managed to finish already was The Natural Way of Things by Charlotte Wood. This is about a group of women who have all been involved in some way in a public sex scandal and their families have essentially given them away to be taken to this detention centre. And it's loosely based on a true story so if you're interested you should look up the Hay Institution. Oh and it's set in Australia and there's a kangaroo in it. Okay and the ones I haven't read yet, Headscarves and Hymens, Why the Middle East Needs a Sexual Revolution. Now I was actually recommended this book by a, I think she's 12 or 13 year old family friend of ours, which was amazing. She's such a badass, so I'm really excited to read this one. I got The Gathering by Anne Enright, which is about three generations of an Irish family trying to collectively deal with the tragedies in their past. I got One More Day by Kelly Simmons, which looks like a really intriguing thriller. It's about a mother whose child goes missing, and he's missing for a year until he comes back just for 24 hours. And all of her friends start to think she's going crazy, and I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen in this one. Then I got this book of fairy tale retellings called Kissing the Witch. I really love the idea of fairy tale retellings, and I never read that many, but these are by Emma Donoghue, who wrote Rome, so I'm trusting these are going to be really good ones. And finally, I wanted to start reading more books in translation, so I'm going to start with this one, The Curious Case of Dasukin's Trousers, which has been translated from its original French, it's by a Moroccan writer, and it's a short story collection about living as an expatriate. Okay, now we're on to the books that my husband bought me. He got me the novel LMNOP, which I've been wanting to read for ages because it looks so interesting. It's about a town that one by one starts banning different letters of the alphabet, and in the book, when the letters get banned, the author stops using them as well, so I can't wait to see how that's going to work. And he got me this non-fiction book, Trace, which looks like a really fascinating and unique history of America, all told through the history of the land itself. Now for a hefty one. My sister this year bought me House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. I've heard so much about this one and I've been wanting to read it for a while ever since I read S, the one that was half by J.J. Abrams, because this is supposed to be quite similar. It's very much a story within a story within a story and it's supposed to be just really complicated and there's a lot to piece together and I'm really excited for that challenge. Okay, next I'm going to tell you about the books that I got from publishers over Christmas. I got this feminist thriller Girls on Fire by Robin Wasserman, which I've already raced through and it was wonderful. I've got a for review coming up in the next few days, so look out for that one. I got All Is Not Forgotten by Wendy Walker, which looks so spooky. It's about a girl who was attacked and then her parents and doctor took 
took away her memories of the attack so she doesn't know what happened. Really spooky, and it's got a blurb by Reese Witherspoon, which is always a good sign, because woman knows how to pick a good thriller. And I got Interface by Lucy Mahajlik, which is about a dystopian future where a computer company has become like the religion of the world, which sounds really fascinating. And I also had an email exchange with the author herself, who talked about how hard she found it to get this book published. She is an asexual writer, and she wanted her main character to also be asexual, but so many of the publishers that she spoke to said the book needed a romance. So she's ended up self-publishing it so she can stick to her own vision, which I think is great, and I'm really excited to read this one. Okay, we're on to the last little pile, I promise. These are my sneaky little Christmas presents to myself. I saw The Light Between Oceans by M.R. Stedman on my parents' bookshelf, so I swiped it, because I wanted to read it before I see the movie. It's about a young couple living on a remote island when a boat washes up with a dead man inside it and a living baby, and it's about what happens next. And then finally, just to finish off with my last Christmassy mention of the year, I got The Indisputable Existence of Santa Claus. My husband actually bought this one for my mum, but he ordered it online and it didn't arrive in time. So he had to go to a physical shop and buy a new copy to give to her on Christmas Day. So when this one arrived at home, I thought I'd just keep it. So those were the 23 new books I got for Christmas, and now I promise to stop mentioning Christmas until next year. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and comment below letting me know what you got for Christmas this year. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos every Friday. See you next time!